What have you been trading? Imagine this scenario. You receive a unique, priceless piece of art from a famous artist. It is a true masterpiece filled with beauty and a meaning. Now, picture swapping that incredible artwork for a cheap, mass-produced print that lacks any depth or value. It sounds absurd, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the exact comparison made in Jeremiah chapter 2, verses 11 to 12. It says, Has a nation ever changed gods? Yet they are not gods at all. But my people have exchanged their glorious God for worthless idols. The Israelites were blessed with the glorious presence of the living God. Trade this precious gift for lifeless idols they created themselves. It's not just a historical problem. It is a struggle we face today. We often exchange the eternal richness of a relationship with God for a temporary worldly possessions or pleasures. We find ourselves chasing after empty promise or, or wealth or approval forsaking the true fulfillment that only God can offer. Our hearts can be easily be led astray, seeking satisfaction in the temporary rather than the eternal. The Lord calls us to be shocked and dismayed by this trade. It is a wake-up call to, to resist our priorities, to turn away from the worthless and embrace the invaluable. God's glory is not just a distant idea. It is a vibrant, life-changing presence that can transform us. What are you currently giving up in exchange for the true glory of God? Where have you settled for the shallow treasures of this world? Take a moment to reflect on your life and ask God to reveal where you might be making a detrimental trade. Seek His forgiveness and commit to pursuing the eternal over the temporary. Seek God.